few burn victims survived, but those who did make it out were rushed to the UC Davis Burn Center. Tonight, 12 of those victims who suffered burns remain hospitalized. Unfortunately, people either got out of this fire and had medium sized burns or they just died. CBS 13 Shireen Roger spoke with the family of one survivor who is recovering and the medical team that took him in. She joins us live now from the Burn Center in Sacramento. Shireen? Christina and Tony, this story is both miraculous and heartbreaking. This woman that I spoke to lost her stepmom in the fire, but her father survived. He's being treated here at this burn center, and the chief surgeon tells me tonight he's one of the lucky 12. Half of his face was burnt. Um, the left side of his face, his ear, his nose. Maria Rios is seen here sitting with her father in his hospital room. He smiles for the camera despite the horror he's lived through. She says her father does not know that the search for his wife is officially over. He knew that she was in there, but he didn't know that we recovered the remains yet um, and that she's at the mortuary. So. I let him smile. Maria says as the campfire tore through paradise, her stepmom grabbed the animals and went down to the basement of their family home. Her father stayed outside to protect. He saw the fire coming um, over the treetops and it started coming down and it was moving super fast. He hopped up on the roof and started to try and put out what he could. But the fire moved so fast and was so hot and intense that Rick Rios couldn't save the home or his wife. Miraculously, someone saw him on the roof and called for help. When is a good time, you know, to actually tell somebody that they're made of 36 years is not going to be there anymore. Rios was one of the 12 burn victims airlifted to UC Davis Regional Burn Center and Shriners Hospitals for Children. He's doing quite well. Um, he got skin grafts on his hands and I think his face is going to heal up just fine. And, you know, he's, he's going to have a, a long emotional recovery, you know, so people forget there's the physical recovery, but there's also the psychological, the emotional recovery, which takes a long time. Chief burn surgeon Dr. David Greenhall says most of the victims suffered burns that covered 20 to 50 percent of their body, and the reason there aren't more burn victims. They were lucky ones to escape, and it was such a severe and fast and hot fire that the other people, unfortunately, did not survive. Dozens did not make it out alive, and the grim search for the missing continues. Meanwhile, Maria is staying strong for her father, with a heavy heart, grieving for her stepmom. I am extremely grateful that it wasn't both of them, that um, it could have been both of them. And the doctors and staff here are really doing remarkable work. And the physical recovery for these burn victims could take up to a year. And also, one of these victims is a firefighter. The surgeon tells me tonight he is also recovering well. Unbelievable stories and heartbreaking to say the least. We're glad they're recovering well.